Hey rabbits, it's Trixie and as you can see I brought Eric again because we too are going to do tongue twisters today. We were actually inspired by a kind subscriber, you can see that here, um, who suggested that we should do some English tongue twisters and see who of us could do them better. And we sat together and we're like, you know what, why just English tongue twisters? Let's take English tongue twisters, German ones and Spanish ones, since we're a multicultural family here and we can make the best out of this. So what we prepared is this hat full of little sheets of paper that have five tongue twisters of each language in it. Five Spanish ones, five English ones and five uh, German ones. And we're just gonna pick them and we have to read them. No matter if we are actually able to talk in that language or if we're completely overwhelmed by it, we are just gonna try to do our best. It's not really a competition, but in the comments you can write down below who you think did a better job and I'm perfectly sure that I'm gonna fail hard in this one. But I'm gonna be worse than you completely sure with that. You're gonna be worse than I am? Of course, for sure. I don't think so. What does tongue twister mean in Spanish? Traba lenguas. Traba lenguas means uh, that you can you cannot talk very well, like it's completely stuck, something like that. Because in German you say Zungenbrecher and that actually means tongue breaker. So we're a little bit more radical. <laughs> Let's twist some tongues. Yeah, sure. Let's go. You want to start? Just pick one. Okay, I'm gonna pick the first one. Oh god, this looks really long. Oh, oh. Okay, well, uh, here we go. It's a Spanish one, and uh, it goes like this: El volcán de Parangaricutirimicuaro se quiere desparangaricutirimicuarizar. I said it wrong. Y el que lo desparangaricutiricuarice será un buen desparangaricutiricuarizador. That is one one word or what? Yeah, it's a word. The word is parangaricutirimicuaro. Nothing easier than that. And it's conjugated in different things. The volcano of this place called Parangaricotirimicuaro, I think that's a place, wants to be on Parangaricotirimicuaro sated. They, they want to be... The volcano, the volcano wants to be out of this place, out of this region. And the one that does this is going to be a good remover of this region or something. I don't know what it is. That makes total sense. Let me try it. It's going to be funny. Parangarui kutiri mi caro. El volcán de Parangiru kuri mi caro. Se quiere disparangari kutiri guarizar y el que lo desesti parangari kutiri guarizar es será un buen disparangari kutiri misador. El volcán de Pararingo de Gukuri Mia Caro se quiere desparangar Kura Kira Casar y el que lo que desparangar de Gukura Kiru Sare será un buen desesparangar y cutrimizador. Just leave it that way. You can tell me if you got it, if you speak Spanish. I just feel like I, I summoned a demon or something like that. So if we sleep bad this night because there's a monster coming from somewhere, I guess it was what I just said. I'm just going to get the next one. I Go took a, an English one. So, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? A woodchuck would chuck all the wood he could chuck wood? No, wait. A woodchuck... Hef, again. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? A woodchuck would chuck all the wood he could chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood. There you go. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck chuck wood? What? Yeah, if a woodchuck would chuck wood. Fuck. A woodchuck would chuck all the wood he would could chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood. Wood could chuck. Oh god, I said it. I don't know how, but something worked. I guess. <laughs> wood chuck <laughs> chuck 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 Norris. I'm gonna take this one. Looks long. Uh, but it's gonna be in Spanish one again. La bruja escaldufa quería embrujar al brujo cambujo, y el brujo cambujo quería desembrujar a la bruja escaldufa. Pero la bruja escaldufa no sabía si el brujo cambujo quedaría embrujado y el brujo cambujo aseguró que la bruja escaldufa se, se desembrujaría. A witch wants to bewitch a witcher and this witcher uh, wants to do the same with the witch and uh, something like that goes like that. It's a the witcher wants to do the same with the witch. That's all I got and it sounds kind of naughty. <laughs> I, I just picked that one because it has right. a lot of R sounds. At least that sounds a little bit more like actual words than the last one. La bruja escalufa quería emburjar al brujo cambujo y el brujo cambujo 
quería desembruja a la bruja Excaldufa, pero la bruja el Caldufa no sabía si el brujo cabujo quede, quedaría embrujado y el brujo cambrujo aseguró que la bruja Excaldufa se desembrujaría. Nice story. I feel like a, a Spanish newsreader. Like, yeah, today there were 10,000 atomic bombs exploding and everyone is really sad and uh, blah, blah, blah. But I, I don't know. So did you understand what I said? Or <laughs> I do understand. Yeah, of course I understood it. Okay, I speak well, Spanish. So I... um, jum, 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 jum. We have a, uh, yeah, we have a German one now. That's really cool. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually the, the most common one in Germany, I would say. It's Fischer's Fritz fished Fische Fische, Frische Fische fished Fischer's Fritz. Uh, which means something like Fischer's Fritz, fishes, fresh fish, fresh fish, fishes, Fischer's Fritz. And Fritz is a German name and it's like, it's like Fritz, Fritz Fischer to say a name like this. Or um, the, the Fischer's son called Fritz, something like that. Let's, <clears throat> let's try my German now. Fischer's Fritz, Frisch, Frische Fische. Frische Fische, fish, Fischer's Fritz. Fischer's Fritz, fish, Fischer's Frische. Oh, so bad. <laughs> Fisher's Fritz, fish, Fischer, fish. Ah, oh, that's I. I, under Fischer, Fischer. <laughs> I, un I understand it, but I cannot really pronounce it that quick. Fisher's Fritz, fish, Fischer, Fischer, Frisch, Fischer, Fischer, fish, Fischer's Fritz. Horrible. Okay, now it's my turn. Let's yes. go for another one. And I took a, an English one now. Oh. So yeah, English. Peter Piper, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers. Peter Peter Piper picked. Uh, if, pe if Peter Pike. If Peter, uh, <laughs> if Peter Pike picked, <laughs> if Peter Pike picked a pack of pickled peppers, what's the pack of pickled peppers? Pe Peter Pike. Oh God. Peter, 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 I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Pickled peppers. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean anything, naughty pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled pickled peppers. <laughs> What's wrong with my brain? Pickled peppers. Peter Peter. <laughs> we lost her. We lost her now. <laughs> okay. <Whew>. Peter. <laughs> Peter, help me. <laughs> I thought you were doing it better than me, actually. And look at this shit. <laughs> I don't know. Pickled peppers. <laughs> 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 Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, a pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, <laughs> where's the pack? Where the, where the pack? Where's the, <laughs> where's the pack? Where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piggle pick? <laughs> Again, Peter Picker. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, a pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Nice. Now I think it's your turn for oh, the next one. I'm crying. Let's go here. It's my turn. Oh great! Here's the next one. Ah, uh, what do we have? Let's we see. have we have a Spanish one. Great. You know what? I'm gonna pronounce this the most German way I know I could pronounce it. Just do it. Erre con erre cigarro, erre con erre barril, rapido corren los carros detrás del fora caril. <laughs> okay, so. Ere con ere cigarro, ere con ere baril, rapido corren los carros detrás del ferrocarril. Guys, I have to announce that I have a really big problem pronouncing the double R. So in Spanish it sounds really weird. So for example, ferrocarril. Ah, uh, but well, I'm gonna try. Ere con ere cigarro, ere con ere baril, rapido corren los carros detrás del ferrocarril. Let's go for the next one. It's my the turn, next right? One. Let's go. I'm gonna choose this beauty here. Oh, a German one, nice. Fischen zwei Zwetschgen Schweißen Schwitzern Schweißwalben. I just heard Schweiß. Zwischen zwei Zwetschgen Zweigen Schwitzen Schweißwalben. Actually, it's Zwischen zwei Zwetschgen Zweigen Zwitschern zwei Schwalben. And it means between two plum tree branches, two swallows twitter. N But they twitter and they don't sweat. Um, okay, so the sixth, sixth, what? The sixth, sixth, shike, sixth, sheep, six. What did you say? Um, the sixth, six, shikes, sixth, sheep, sick. All right, now I, now I finally got what it actually means. The sixth, six, shikes, sixth, sheep, sick. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Here, give it to take me. Take it, yeah. take yeah. it. I just saw chic, and chic is chic, like chic, chic, chic in, in Zelda. You know, like they have chic. In their <laughs> the sixth, chic. What? The sixth, six, chic, sit, sixth. 
Shift sick. What the f- God, this six sick 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 sick. I don't think we did a good job there, but <laughs> it's impossible. I don't know. Oh great, Spanish. Compare de la capa para, no compre usted mas capa para que el me que e que, que, que mucha capa para compra mucha capa para paga. Paga 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 paga. Onga ponga. Yo que mucha capa para compre mucha capa para pague. I think I just invented a new language. <laughs> <laughs> say para, para, para. Para, panda. Say, say this word, parda, parda. Parda. I cannot do this. Par. Well, parda. 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 Compadre de la capa parda. No compra usted más capa parda que el que mucha capa parda compra, mucha capa parda paga. That was it. Yo que mucha capa parda compré, mucha capa parda pagué. Yeah, that's all. Yo que mucha capa parda compré, mucha capa parda pagué. So you wrote down that it means Godfather with the brown cape. Don't you buy more brown capes? That the person that buys too much brown capes, a lot of money pays. I'm gonna go for uh, this one. I, I'm trying to pick up these small ones. This is in English. Okay, let's see. Four, four furious friends fought for the phone. Four furious friends fought for the phone. It's not that bad. <clears throat> four furious friends fought for the phone. No, actually, that works. That's more like um, an alliteration. Ah, another English one. So, um, a tutor who tooted the flute tried to toot, 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 toot. <laughs> what? A tutor who tooted the flute tried to tutor to tutors to toot. Said the tutor to the tutor, is it tougher to toot or to tutor to tutors to toot? Total I sense. actually think that I was lucky Makes doing that one. Sense. But I, I, I read what it says. A tutor who tooted the flute Try to tutor the two tutors to toot. Said the, tut -tut the tutor, it is taught to toot or to tutor to tutors to toot. The English native speakers could tell us if they if they got it. Yeah, please. I feel like help, we, we are just talking here. in the toot language. Like toot 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 toot. Let's go for this one here. A German one. Right. I love German ones. They're really cool. That's a funny one. The whisky mixer mixed the whiskey. The whiskey mixed the whiskey mixer. The whiskey mixer mixed the whiskey. The whiskey mixed the whiskey mixer. The, the whiskey mixer mixed in whiskey, the whiskey mixer and whiskey mixer. Because if you do it wrong, you often say vixed or vixen and something like that. The whiskey mixer, vixen, vixen, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and that word actually means to jerk off in German. Remember vixen. <clears throat> Which is one of the reindeers of Santa Claus. Uh, okay, a Spanish one. Pablito clavó un clavito el, en el calvo de un calvito. <laughs> en el calvo de un calvito, again. Un calvito clavó Pablito. So Pablito clavó un calvito en la calva el calvito. En la calva el calvito, un clavito clavó Pablito. Can you guess what it means? Yeah, I mean, do you think really it's something I, I with the piano? I would have said like the little, little Pablo played the piano. The piano played the little Pablo. Sure. <laughs> something like that. It means that Pablito, that's a small version for Pablo, He he nailed a nail in a in a in a calvito person. So Sounds like calvito I it. <laughs> is a person that doesn't have hair. It's okay. bald. A bald person is a calvo in okay. Spanish. Calvo. So Pablito, you put lito for to make it smaller. Would it, would I be like tixilita then? Yeah. So Pablito clavó un clavito en la calva de un clavito. Calvito. Oh, I said it wrong. <laughs> en la calva de un clavito. Oh, so difficult. That's cool. <laughs> En la calva de un clavito, en la calva de un calvito, un calvito, clavo Pablito. Oh, God. <laughs> Said it fast, it's horrible. I always get it wrong. Get another one. In dichten, fichten, dichtig, picken, die flicken, finken, tüchtig. Die flicken. In dichten, fichten, dichtig, kicken, I don't know what I'm saying. In, in dichten, fichten, dicht, picken, die flinken, finken, tüchtig. Im dicken, ficken, dichtig. <laughs> Im dicken ficken. Ficken again. Times. And I said dick. Im dicken ficken. Dick and ficken, yeah, really good. Im dichten ficken. It's like three or four times. Im dichten fichten, dick. Ich picken die ficken. Ficken ficken again. It's it's like yeah, she's she's, she's dropping the f bomb many times. Does that count as cursing? Maybe for those who don't know, ficken in German means something that sounds really similar in English. Im dichten fichten, dick. Ich picken die ficken fichten fichten. Im dichten ficken. Now I'm completely. Destroyed in my head. <laughs> Im dichten fichten dick, ich picken die finken, finken, finken. <laughs> <laughs> This is so embarrassing. That's the German one. Im dichten ficken dick. Come on, just let it go and take the other one. I surrender. There's only one more. I surrender. Just, I'm just. 
I, I'm too naughty to say this one. I cannot do it. I, I, I did it better this time, right? My brain is programmed to say naughty things instead of animals and nature. Man. We just... Fine, fine. That's <sighs> the last one, so That was really embarrassing. I really didn't do that on purpose. And another, another German one. And fortunately, without any naughty second meanings, ulterior thoughts here. Mm-hmm. What? Wow, you look so beautiful. You look so French now. Thank you. Thank now, do you. Do we have a baguette? Thank you very much. Can we give Why you French? I always thought this was Portuguese. That's a Berry Basque. Blaukraut bleibt Blaukraut und Brautkleid bleibt Brautkleid. That means purple cabbage stays purple cabbage. Wedding dress stays wedding dress. <sighs> Blaukraut bleibt Blaukraut und Blaukleid bleibt Blaukleid. Das. <laughs> this is exactly the problem. <laughs> Blaukraut bleibt Blau. What the fuck? It's like a, a Calvito Clavito. Yes, yeah, the same stuff. Blaukraut bleibt Blaukraut und Blau Braukleid bleibt Braukleid. That was the game. Um, I hope it was funny. I just laughed my ass off in between because I, I couldn't believe how twisted my tongue already was. I think if you do many tongue twisters after twisters after each other, um, you are more likely to, to fuck more things up because you just your brain thinks it's fine to do mistakes. Let's, let's roll now. Let's go for it, yeah. <laughs> Did you have fun? Of course I had fun. I, I, many of them I didn't even know before, so I, this was new for me. So I, everyone <laughs> that I did right now here in front of the camera was like, yeah, a new stuff. Which too. language was the diff most difficult one? Well, for sure, the German one was really? the most difficult one. But I, I, I had a really hard time with Clavito, Calvito, <laughs> Pablito, you know, all the stuff. Is kinda... I just remember laughing like hell with this <laughs> Peter pepper pickle one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we really make a challenge out of this and you can write down in the comments now who do you think did better it doesn't really matter but the the, the loser is gonna die next time we can do the same again we have a lot of tongue twisters left we can definitely play this game again if you enjoyed this i definitely enjoyed it i actually didn't think that i would laugh so hard <laughs> but i just couldn't believe how much my brain failed and if you got into one of the tongue twisters and you couldn't find out anymore it just got worse do you want to do it again if sure. the rabbits like it Sure. If you have any other suggestions, just tell us and we'll try to do the best for, out of it. Exactly. If you have any ideas for funny games or more tongue twisters that you want us to, to battle against each other with, then just submit them and I hope you had fun with the video too. And... Yeah. Well, just see you next time. Just the video. See yeah. you next time. See you next time, guys. Yeah. Uh, thank you for being here. Subscribe and yeah. Give it a like to do the video. Do all yeah. this YouTube shit, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry <laughs> for saying that, but we have to do it. <laughs> So yeah, All right, see, see you in guys. the next video. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> no.